What do you do when you are the underdog? When no one believes in you? Well, I'm going to tell you a great story when we get back. I'm CLM2 for With Power, the channel that helps find the power within you. He's giving me power, all power, all power. Hey, happy Monday, everyone. We hope everyone out there had a fantastic weekend. Um, it was a great weekend. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Uh, it rained, which we need, on Sunday. But uh, Saturday was a gorgeous day. Friday was actually a gorgeous day also. Um, and you know, we had a great week on the Northeast. So today, video, short and sweet. Um, just wanted to kind of tell you a great story about being an underdog, being someone who no one believes in. And um, went to church yesterday and hate, heard a fantastic sermon from this young pastor, which uh, I really like this young guy. I've been watching him grow over about 10 years, and um, you know he's really grown. I've yet to hear a bad sermon from him. Fantastic sermon. Uh, he's out in New Jersey, belongs to a church called the Community Baptist Church in Inglewood, New Jersey, and uh, just fantastic young man. So uh, his sermon was about the story of David. And uh, he did a great analogy where just recently, for those of you who may be into music, DJ Khaled, one of the top music producers out there in hip hop and R&B, just put out a new album called God Did. God Did. So, um, you know, great music. I haven't heard the album as yet. I'll probably hear some songs from it, but and he used that analogy about, and if you know DJ Khaled, he talks about how many people doubted him for many years. But you know what? He became very, very successful because God did. God did it for him. See, when people doubted him and, and doubted his musical skills, he became one of the top producers in music. And it wasn't because of him. As he says, God did it. So the pastor brought that up, and then he talked about an individual in the Bible who no one believed in. You may have heard of this individual. His name was David. So the story goes that Samuel comes to the home of David and speaks to David's father named Jesse and says that the Lord, God, has anointed one of his sons to be king. So Jesse brings out seven of his eight sons. He has eight sons. He brings out seven of them because he's figuring that one of these seven must be one of the anointed ones. And as he brings them out and Samuel goes over each and every one of them, you know, from appearance wise, they look great. You know how sometimes we anoint people just because of the way that they look from the outside. And from appearance-wise, they all were great. They all fit the bill. They spoke well. They looked well. They looked like they was um, individuals who should be king. And Samuel goes through each brother, and he says, no, that's not the one. What about this one? No, that's not the one. So he goes through all seven, and none of them are the ones who were anointed by God. And Samuel asks Jesse, well, is, is that it? Is that all your sons? And Jesse says, eh, yeah, I have one more son. His name is David. Well, well, where's David? Well, David's out there. He's tending to the sheep. Well, go get David and bring David here. And instead of him going out to get David, he sends somebody else out. So what does this tell you? He disqualified David before he even you know presented him as a possibility and that happens sometimes sometimes we are disqualified even though people don't really know our heart they don't know what we're capable of but guess who knows God did 
See, sometimes you are disqualified. No one believes in you. And it doesn't have to be friends, acquaintances, people on your job. It could be people right in your own family who don't believe in you. And they disqualify you. They don't even present you. They don't present your ideas because they think you couldn't possibly be the one that's going to be anointed. But we don't know what God has in store for us. So the way the story ends is that they go out, they get David, they bring David back. David didn't have time to freshen up. He didn't have time to take a shower, wash up. He's out there tending sheep. He comes right in off the field. Uh, he's dirty. He's a mess. And Samuel looks at him and says, he's the one. And Samuel anoints him with the oil. And everyone shocked him. David is going to be king. And if you read the stories in the Bible, David winds up being king. You never know. See, that may be you. There may be doubters out there. There may be individuals out there who don't respect you, don't respect the things that you do. You, they may look at you as someone who you know, you know, should not get the opportunity to advance or do well, or, or maybe you've had some bumps in the road at a young age and you, know, you got a bad reputation out there, but it's not up to them. Because what God has for you is for you. So, don't let anyone you know, put their opinions on you. Don't let anyone put any type of bad stigma on you. Don't worry about all that stuff. You may have made some mistakes. It's okay. It's all right. We all have made mistakes. And we all have doubters, or what the young people call haters. They're out there. But you know what? If you believe in a higher power, Maybe you are the one to be anointed. When it's your time, it's your time. And don't you ever forget. Well, that's the story for today. Hey, listen, if you like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're on social media and you see this video, don't forget to hit the like button. You know, leave your comments down uh, in the comments section. And as I usually say, don't forget that um, you know, I'm big in, on, into entrepreneurship. Uh, I believe everyone should have some type of side hustle. You should be able to make some additional cash. Uh, if you go back and look at some of my old videos, I have, I've, I've given out business opportunities, investment opportunities to some of y'all out there. Uh, because right now, with inflation so high, if your money is in a bank, you're actually losing value. All right? If you're saving your money in a bank, you're actually losing value. Your money should be making money. And uh, you know, I've done some videos on that. I'll be doing some more videos on that. But right now, if your money is in some type of savings account and it's just sitting there, it's actually losing value. Right. But as I say, um, I have written a book, 21 Money Making Businesses You Can Start Today. Just go to my website, sign up for my email list, and you can download the free ebook. Uh, right away and um, you may get some great ideas from it you may not want to use one of the 21 ideas but it may give you another idea of how you can earn some extra income I believe in multiple streams of income you definitely want to do that well that's it and as I always say I will see you next time